gonna saw this off straight across with a good saw. Make sure your saw is not contaminated with any diseased limbs. Now this particular graft is called a bark graft and you just want one side of it shaved down all the way down to like a 45. Gonna open the bark about the same distance that you've got your wedge and you're gonna slide that wedge right down in that bark. That wedge is going to come wrap right around it. I'm going to measure my cut, and on this side, I'm going to put a different type of bark graft on it. Measure it down. I'm going to peel the bark off, the length of my cut. I'm going to peel this one piece in the middle back. I'm just a little stubborn, but you peel it back. Do the same thing. Lay your piece down in there and bring the bark back over it. We'll seal the cut all the way around and we'll wrap it good and tight. Again, you got two graphs. One may take better than the other one. That's the one you want to keep. In about a year, you'll be able to tell which one is the stronger of the two. Most Americans are not familiar with the Oriental persimmon. It's a very large fruit, and it stays on the tree upwards to January. So you've got all bow season and most of hunting rifle season with a fruit that the animals really love. There's your bark graft. Today we did two bark grafts and we did four cleft grafts to American stock persimmon with a Fuyu Oriental. The Oriental persimmon tree is expensive, but it's well worth it. Once you get one tree established, take your pruning shears the next year, lop you off a couple of four, the six inches of scion wood, it's called scion, it's just a small piece of wood that you can transpose to your American persimmons. All your American persimmon trees that grow wild on your farm, go around, lop off the limb, and graft on. There are several different kinds of grafts you can use. Bark graft, cleft graft, saddle graft, omega graft. It's very easy. 